So today we are making a beautiful little tapas dish that's very easy to make and it's packed with so many great flavors. We're talking roasted garlic, Spanish eggplant with tomatoes and cheese. This is the perfect dish for any occasion as it comes together effortlessly and it's made with the simplest ingredients. Now, speaking of ingredients, the cheese I'm using in this recipe is a mild manchego cheese that easily melts. However, you can use whatever cheese you want that easily melts, such as mozzarella or provolone. But let me tell you, either way you go, the real star of this dish is that beautiful eggplant. With the way we're gonna prep it, it's gonna have the most incredible texture and flavor. If this is your first time here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way you can get notified when I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on Four Kitchen. To all my returning subscribers, welcome back. We're gonna begin by grabbing one eggplant, which is also known as an aubergine, rinsing it under some cold running water, and then patting it completely dry. Now I know this seems like a silly way to start this recipe, as this is pretty much common sense, but let me tell you, you would be surprised at how many people forget to wash your fruits and vegetables before they cut them. Truly, such an important step. Once the eggplant is ready, I'm gonna cut off a little bit from the tip, and then cut it into rounds that are half an inch thick which is about one and a quarter centimeters. Then we're gonna place the slices of eggplant in a single flat layer. And season them generously with sea salt on both sides. And then we'll transfer slices of salted eggplant into a colander and let them sit there for 30 minutes. This is the most important step in this recipe. By letting that eggplant sit there for those 30 minutes with that salt, it's gonna extract all the water out of the eggplant. That way when we roast it, it doesn't get mushy and it keeps its beautiful firm texture. While our slices of eggplant are resting, let's get the rest of our ingredients ready. I'm gonna grab five cloves of garlic, Roughly mince them. And add them into a mortar. We'll season the garlic with a little sea salt. And using a pestle, pound down on the garlic until you form a paste-like texture. Then we'll grab a handful of fresh parsley Finely chop it and add it into the mortar with the garlic. I'm adding in about two tablespoons, which is about eight grams. And we'll also add in a generous two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is about 35 milliliters. And we'll give this a quick mix, that way all the ingredients are evenly mixed together. And we're also gonna thinly slice two tomatoes. Okay, let's move back to our slices of eggplant. They've been sitting here for exactly 30 minutes, which is enough time for all that salt to extract the water out of the eggplant. I'm gonna rinse the slices of eggplant under some cold water. And then using a dishcloth, I'm gonna gently rub each slice of eggplant to remove any of the excess water and salt. And as you finish drying each slice of eggplant, transfer it into a baking tray that's lined with parchment paper. Once all the slices of eggplant have been added to the baking tray, I'm gonna lightly season them with a little sea salt just on one side. And I'm also gonna add in a dash of freshly cracked black pepper. Then we'll grab our garlic and parsley mixture and start adding it over the slices of eggplant, making sure it's coating the entire top surface of each slice of eggplant. Then we'll add in one slice of tomato over each piece of eggplant.
and we'll top it off with some finely grated manchego cheese. Once again, the one that I'm using is a younger one. It's been aged for three months, so it easily melts. The secret here, don't add too much cheese, otherwise it's gonna overpower the eggplant. And we'll add our baking tray into a preheated oven, bake and broil option. That's the bottom and top heat, 210 degrees Celsius, which is about 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if your oven can't do both functions at the same time, no big deal. Just bake your slices of eggplant for an extra four to five minutes longer than I'm baking mine or until that cheese is fully melted and developing a light golden brown color. After about 15 minutes, those slices of eggplant should be perfectly roasted. I'm gonna remove them from the oven. Transfer a couple of them into a serving dish. And we'll sprinkle it with some freshly chopped chives, which brings out a beautiful flavor in these slices of eggplant. Check it out, our Spanish garlic roasted eggplant with tomatoes and cheeses Then You saw this, so easy to put together, very simple ingredients. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. You know, this just proves that by using the humble eggplant, you can still create an extraordinary dish. Here we go. That is so good. The flavors. You have that manchego cheese with the tomato and all that garlic. It's absolutely beautiful. But the beauty of this dish is the texture of that eggplant. By salting it first and then letting it rest, it removes all that excess water, which gives it the most incredible texture. You saw this very easy to make. Using simple ingredients, in my opinion, great food doesn't get much better than this. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Karsten Korn, Martin Giddings, and Aravinda Garimeya. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. It's thanks to you and the rest of my patrons why Spain on a Fork continues to move forward. If you're not a patron, consider becoming one. It really helps with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and I card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Smash the subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.